Meet Elementor 2.4. The new version of Elementor 2.4 introduces innovative troubleshooting features as well as advanced responsive capabilities, background controls, and more. Now you have much more control over the background design with custom background size and position. With custom size, you can set specific sizes for your background images. Similarly, custom position enables you to set the desired background position by using the X and Y axis. These controls also have responsive settings, allowing you to set specific positions and sizes for your backgrounds on different devices. Additionally, by using the new responsive controls, you can also customize the background and border design on desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. This control includes device-specific settings for background controls. For image, designate an image per device. Position, define a focal point per device. Attachment, repeat, and size all have device-specific settings. As for border controls, you can now set a different border radius and width for mobile, tablet, and desktop devices. If you've ever struggled with switching from separated column borders to vertical ones, you'll love this. There are two other smaller features in this version. You can now use self-hosted videos and embed videos from any external service. This way, you don't have to overload your hosting with large video files. In addition, we added support to the WordPress Read More tag, used by some themes to show the beginning of posts on archive pages. And there's even a Read More widget that you can add to posts to mark the cutoff. To make it easier to handle the different Elementor dashboard screens, we separated the previously named My Templates menu and renamed it Templates. We also positioned the Elementor and Library side menus higher up on the dashboard menu to make it more accessible. Templates also now have categories to help you manage them more easily. We found that roughly 80% of all issues are plugin or theme related. That's why in the upcoming version, we released Safe Mode. Safe Mode opens the Elementor editor on a clean version of WordPress without loading a theme or any plugins. Notice that Safe Mode does not affect on-site visitors or other logged in users. For them, the site will operate as usual, with the regular theme and plugins activated. Safe mode on and now everything works? It means the reason for the issue is one of the plugins or your theme. Safe mode is on and the issue persists? Continue troubleshooting using our detailed documentation. Safe mode will considerably reduce the number of issues our users have to deal with. Better troubleshooting and advanced responsive design are two vital issues for anyone building websites. This is a great starting point for Elementor users in 2019 and also prepares the ground for the upcoming feature release. So stay tuned.